That's correct. Not happy about it. Some people probably are. It's still technically winter. Yeah, some of our mornings like and kind of hearing from what they're talking about. We need to keep those above the teens. We'll do that, but not to say we won't get to around freezing or maybe just a little bit below. Maybe a few upper 20s to lower 30s to come into play here through the middle of the week. That's what we're talking about with the freeze warning here in some western counties. That's going to go into effect overnight tonight into Tuesday morning. Then we shift over more into that freeze watch category here. This will be into early Wednesday morning and sometimes anywhere between 9 and 10 and 11 a.m. this uh, in the morning for Tuesday and Wednesday for some of the counties. They kind of vary depending on where you are, but we are expecting maybe three mornings this week. Thursday could be another one where we could be down around freezing too, so keep that in mind. This morning we're holding temperatures well above freezing. Mid 40s, a bit cloudy with a bit of fog out there too, but visibility is looking okay. That doesn't seem to be too much of a concern. No advisories for fog. 40s all the way through morning here, 9, 10 o'clock. Better news for the second half of the day. We'll get some sunshine in there as well. Make for a decent finish to our day, which temperature wise, we're going to be in the mid 60s here. 40s for the morning jogger bike ride. It's going to be a bit chilly, so throw on some sleeves for that early morning jogger, a walker, bike ride routine, whatever you've got set up for us. We're not really going to see a lot of these change for some time in the morning. Middle upper 40s, about 43 to 48 degrees north and south of the interstate. We've held consistent for the last several hours. Looking at highs in the mid 60s, middle 60s. 60s to uh, about 68 degrees. 70 is the norm. Keep in mind, we're not really going to see too many of those days this week. Probably St. Patrick's Day on Friday will be the warmest we get up to here. There is some rain opportunities coming back in. It won't be until the end of the week. Seems that Friday. There it is again. Friday and early Saturday coming in there with the rain chances too. So the rain from last Friday and yesterday has done us very nicely in that pollen meter. What we'll find though is it going right back up in the levels that we're familiar with this time of year because limited rain will allow for that pollen to really start collecting once again. But loving the rain we got yesterday. It's a chilly 40s and low 50s here this morning. 50s up there by lunchtime, 60s for the afternoon, some clearing skies. Heading down into when we're starting to see freezing lows tomorrow morning. Here's around 7, 730. With that threat of near freezing temperatures, it's going to be breezy today and tonight. Wind will help keep our temperatures above freezing, although it'll feel colder with that wind chill value tomorrow morning. So expect winds 10 to 15 throughout tonight, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, the temperatures are definitely much cooler. Highs in the mid to upper 50s there, 4 o'clock. And there's Wednesday morning when we start getting into the freeze watch and possibly freeze warnings that may go into effect again for parts of the CSRA on Wednesday morning. And keep in mind, we've got Thursday morning, which could be another one near freezing too. So pretty cold mornings all week long. 50s and 60s throughout the week. Sunshine until Friday. We rain up a little bit more in the afternoon, evening. St. Patrick's Day, it's not a complete wash out there. 74 and then we'll cool down for the weekend. Early rain possible on Saturday. 58 and sun and clouds on Sunday. Six, seven.